So then later on, another another idea was a a, a walk around c central Exeter, because uh, HMV has become a, a reality as in indicating what's going on. The the digital transition has gone a very long way with uh, CDs. In, in, in other words, the CDs are gradually disappearing. Vinyl has come back, but mostly merchandise of various kinds. And you can see this in the in the HMV shop in, in the centre of Exeter. So the, the CD walk is a walk around Exeter, uh, taken in various cafes, but mostly looking at the places where CDs or music retail used to be, and asking the question how much space is needed for uh, education and um, also student accommodation. I think I think that is the 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 aspect that for local radio is most significant. Um, the, the question what, what what is all this student accommodation and why is it needed and how long will it last? Uh, the, these are questions that people ask just as people who live in the city and observe what's going on but I, as far as I'm, I can tell um, it's just regarded as normal and something that will last forever by the people who uh, at least until very recently um, control the budgets for the universities they're, they're still in building mode and very very convinced that's that's a, a solid way of carrying on so now there's two there's two more um, tags which indicate different different plays or different performances maybe um, that's to say KX walk King's Cross walk um, which is a, a sort of based around a possible journey to London uh, with um, Chris Norton and uh, Jonathan Mayhe, uh I've been going to BET and uh, learning technologies sometimes in the spring or January, January, February. It's not really the spring. It sort of gives us an idea that something's moving anyway around, around that sort of time of the year. And I don't think anything at, at um, Excel is going to happen but King's Cross is, is still there and doing a walk in that area would be interesting. Um, partly it shows that organisations like Facebook and Google and a, a few others are still interested in uh, large buildings. So it, it, it's, a, it's a sort of campus of, of a sort. Um, University of the Arts London has, has got a big building there as well. Um, but the one that interests us is is the uh, the YouTube space, which is a studio, and our, our walk would be around it, around the King's Cross area, uh, British Library, uh, Royal National Institute for the Blind, various other places, but heading towards um, the Google building, and uh, we'd ask at at the Google reception. Um, what they thought about text, um, any issues around text, uh, because that's what they search on, and what we can do with it in terms of um, remixing bits of text. It sort, it sort of ties in with the um, manifesto for teaching online. Uh, text has been troubled, but also uh, sound has been troubled, music has been troubled, and um, we'd hope to get past their reception and into the YouTube bit of the building. Because um, otherwise you've got to have 10,000 followers or something quite ridiculous. But we'd gradually move it on to the ways that sound has been remixed and um, is open to difficulties of var various kinds. <laughs> 